Okay, so first of all, I'll select my first chart here and go to Format and Align and Snap to Grid. And this will allow me to line the chart up with the grid lines underneath. And I can also resize it to match the grid lines as well. Then while I have the chart selected, I'll press Control D to duplicate the chart. And this will make a second copy of the chart and I will move it to the side and line it up. Then, so long as you keep the chart selected, the next time you press Control D, it will make another copy of the chart and move it the same amount to the side. Now I'll select the data in the second chart and you can see here it highlights the data that this chart is based on by these coloured rectangles. And if I hover over the edge of one of these coloured rectangles, it will change the mouse to a black four-pointed arrow. And this allows me to click and drag on the range and change the data that is going into this chart. And I can also do this to the title as well. And now you can see this chart has been updated. I'll do this one more time over here but this time I'll drag it two to the side instead. And now this chart has been updated as well. So the data has changed and the title. Now I'll select the first chart again, and then while holding down control, click and drag the chart. And this is a second way of making a copy of a chart. If I hold down control while selecting both of these charts, I can copy them both at the same time. Then I'll select the data inside this chart, and you can see in the formula bar here the cell references that this chart is based on. So everything here up to the first comma is the title, so B1. Then up to the next comma is the x-axis, Data. So that's column A here. Then the next section is the Y axis data and that's column B here. And this number here is just because this is the first data series in this chart. So I want to change the cell references here to get the y-axis data and the title to be coming from column E instead of column B. And I can do this just by deleting the Bs and typing in the letter E instead and then pressing enter and you can see the chart updates itself and also this highlighted region here moves. I will do this another time for this chart but this time I want it to show me the data in column F instead. So I'll change the C's to F's. And I want the X axis data to stay the same. So I'm just leaving that and then enter. And this chart changes as well. Now, another method for doing this is to highlight the section that you want to change and then just click on the cell references you want to change it to and it updates. And I'll do this again here for this range. I want to change it to column G and then enter. And you can see this chart has now updated as well. So now I have six very similar looking charts all lined up together. Okay, so in this video, I have shown you a couple of my tricks for quickly making multiple charts in Excel, and that is everything.